thousands of officers, many of them active shooter trained, are vigilant and patrolling our city. Heavily armed officers stood guard outside of Park East Synagogue on 67th Street in Manhattan while congregants worshipped inside. The beefed up presence will remain in place here and throughout the city until the NYPD deems necessary. It doesn't mean, matter whether you're Jewish or not Jewish, it's innocent people worshipping, talking, and then attacked for, no, you know, for reasons that I'll never understand. Most welcomed the added security measures, but some felt a little uneasy by the show of force. Yeah, but I often think um, when these sorts of things happen that the uh, respond, the heavy response is actually feeds the people who end up doing this. They like seeing that, uh, but they, these folks know much better than I do about how to respond to these things appropriately, so I'll leave that to them. President Trump today insinuated that perhaps the synagogue in Pittsburgh could have prevented the attack. This is a case where if they had an armed guard inside, they might have been able to stop him immediately. And maybe there would have been nobody killed except for him, frankly. de Blasio took issue with Trump's remarks. I have to be very clear, and it's no time for politics, but it is a time to talk about our values. We should never blame the victims in an attack like this, we should never suggest that a house of worship has to have an armed guard for people to be able to go about their religious observance. That's not America. That's certainly not New York City. Parkey Synagogue Rabbi Arthur Shiner will be traveling to Pittsburgh with a religious delegation to show solidarity. And I know that all New Yorkers will stand with our brothers and sisters in Pittsburgh and we pray for the freedom that we have enjoyed in this blessed land, and God bless America, and God bless our great city and state of New York.